this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 2 from section 3-6 in the Savas Realize Algebra 1 textbook. And so in this video, we are attempting to understand what a correlation coefficient is. Alright, so first, the, the question asks us is what does the correlation coefficient reveal about the quantities in a bivariate data set? And I'm like, alright, calm down there. They're getting a little wild with the vocabulary, so let's talk about those. So when we are doing a linear regression, you'll always get some kind of table that tells you where certain values go. Alright, so on this they did a linear regression saying y equals ax plus b. So they give you the a value, which goes in the equation. They give you the b value, which goes in the equation. And then they give you this r and the r squared value. Now, r squared is for a little bit more of um, advanced statistics, but we need to talk about this r. All right, this r is the correlation coefficient. And what it does is it describes the direction and the strength of a linear relationship between two variables. Okay, I'm going to show you on some graphs what that means. Now, when we talk about a bivariate data set, by just means two, variate means variables. So if they talk about a bivariate data set, they're talking about a set of data that has two variables, usually x and y. All right, so let's talk about this correlation coefficient a little bit more. So we have three kind of situations, right? We have a perfectly linear positive data set like this. Alright, so this is bivariate, right, because it's x and y axis. The correlation, uh, correlation coefficient for this is 1. Alright, that is the largest number that we can have. And it represents a perfect positive correlation. Okay. And it's positive because the slope of this line is a positive slope. It's, it's going uphill. So then, well, what if it's going downhill? Right? We could have a dotted line like you see right here. Sorry about that. Turning off my sound. There we go. So we have a, a perfectly straight, perfectly linear set of data points that are going down. This is an R value of negative 1. Again, the line is perfectly straight, but it has a negative slope. All right, so this is a perfect negative correlation. Okay, so this R value is describing how close these or these points are to being a line. Okay, now the R squared value is describing um, how closely a, a trend line matches a data set. That's what that means. But anyway, so now we have an R of 1, we have an R of negative 1. Well, what about halfway through there? What about if my R is 0? Alright, so if my R is 0, what that means is that the points that are on the data set are more like a cloud, like you see here. There's not really a, a line that you can put that will that will map onto here, okay? So when we are looking at these these values, okay, you're going to be looking for how how close to a line they are. So the closer they are to positive or negative one, 
the closer they are to being a straight line. The closer the value is to zero, the more scattered it is. All right, so it's, it's how, how scattered the graph is. And so there's a, a way to interpret it. Sorry for it being a little blurry. Let me try zooming out to see if it helps with the zip blur. It looked fine when it was normal page size. Okay, so if we have a correlation that's 0.9 to 1 or negative 0.9 to negative 1, we have a very high positive or negative correlation, depending on if it's positive or negative. Okay, 0.7 to 0.9, that's still a high, a high correlation. Now notice from, from 0 to 0.3, that's called negligible correlation. For those, you would say there's no relationship at all. And then we might talk about a moderate relationship or correlation, okay, for between the 0.5 to 7, or, or low to moderate from 0.3 to 0.5. All right, so the, the stronger relationships are the ones that are closer to 1, and the weaker are from 0 to 3. So it says, what does each correlation coefficient tell us about the data it describes? So for an R value of 0.1, well, 0.1 is between 0 and 0.3, so we would say there's a negligible, that means you can ignore it, correlation, or no correlation. Now, if I have r equals negative 0.6, all right, 0.6 is between 0.5 and 0.7, so there is a moderate, okay, there's the strength, and then because it's negative, we're going to say it's a moderate negative to talk about the direction correlation. But there it is. That is how to describe correlation coefficients. Until next time.